Hey guys, today we will do an introduction to short of music. It's a practical introduction because I'm not gonna be talking a lot, otherwise we could stay here for hours, days and perhaps weeks. But we're gonna be listening to some tracks that are contained in these vinyl records here. Some of you Baroque music fans will be going, the claverist must have gone completely mad. Show is actually the very first fully Brazilian music genre. It originated way back in the 19th century from a fusion of uh, European music and uh, the African rhythms that were present in Brazil. And uh, without further ado, let's listen to the music. We start with a piano solo by one of the creators of the genre, a gentleman called uh, Ernesto Nazaré. He was quite a good pianist and uh, he met uh, Arthur Rubinstein in 1918 in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, Rubinstein uh, wanted him to play his music, but Nazaré seemed to insist in wanting to play Chopin and Beethoven and other compositions that he could play. The piece we're going to listen to now is called uh, Apanhete Cavaquinho. Cavaquinho is uh, a small guitar of four strings, something like uh, an ukulele. In this piece, Nazaré imitates uh, Cavaquinho at the piano. This is quite a rare recording of Naz Nazaré playing himself. So it's probably originally recorded on uh, 78 uh, rotation records and then was transferred eventually to vinyl. It's quite in good condition, I have to say, compared to other versions that I heard. <laughs> second most performed Brazilian composer outside of Brazil, after Heitor Villalobos. This time the composition is interpreted by an ensemble with the soloist being Jacó do Bandolim, who plays the bandolin, and uh, who is another legend of choro music. The composition is called Ameno Rezeda. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we move on to listen to a composition by another uh, genius of Brazilian music, by some considered the soul of Brazilian music, or some said if you want to summarize Brazilian music with one name, you say his name, Pichinguinha, which is not his real name but the name uh, with which he was known. The piece we are going to listen to is called Proezas de Solon and is actually a cooperation between Pichinguinha and Benedito Lacerda, who, if I'm not mistaken, played the flute. It is interpreted here by uh, an ensemble uh, composed of legends, absolute legends of uh, Sholom music. The soloist being this uh, teenager here, well, she was a teenager when this was recorded in the 1980s, Nuzi Carvalho playing the bandolin. And actually most of the time it's uh, this instrument here called the pandeiro which is not just a tambourine sometimes it's not just the pandeiro and there are also other percussion instruments playing like the tambourine which we have over here then you may have a heku heku and uh, sometimes a surdu as well moving on quite a rare recording this was actually recorded live in 1977 and this seems to have been the first national festival of shoro music 
and uh, there are 12 pieces here um, I guess it was some sort of competition and then the finalists as it says here were recorded we listen to Meu Pensamento composition by Gessé Silva and uh, the soloist at the flute is Plauto Cruz it's quite a, a peculiar piece of solo music which I thought was worth sharing with you We get to a recording from 1980 here. It's an album by Valdir Azevedo, master of the Cavaquinho. 
and uh, just so you have a sense of the potential sophistication that Shoro music reached by 1980 today even more let's listen to this track I cannot uh, play the whole track for you because the record is damaged so before the end I'll have to to fade it out it's called Cadencian it's quite a particular composition and I thought it quite nice so in spite of not being able to play the whole thing for you we can play most of it so here we go that uh, with the Pandero this time we also had a full drum set so let's conclude with uh, a piece of music that I like uh, very much I didn't know before and it's a composition of Algir Azevedo it's called Gosto Tanto de Você uh, the peculiarity here is that Chiquinho do Accordeon basically an accordion player quite famous actually he plays here an instrument called the Cordovox.
enjoyed this introduction to short music and I invite you to go and listen to it. There is lots of material out there, an enormous variety within the genre and it is really good music. Having said that, I thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon.